what is going on guys J buck back with real stories you can see it's a bluebird day so i'm out here with a couple of frogs see if we can get on them some top water real quick we got the gavacho and then we got the mega bass the new big gabbit we've been throwing that quite a bit we really love how it skips but the gavacho still has our heart so we're gonna cover a ton of water today uh we're gonna try to get all the way around the bank uh, probably throw up into the trees a bit um we like to skip around in here and see what we can do let's get them all right let's get them with the gavacho really like the bluegill patterns this is probably one of the easiest frogs to walk let's see what they're doing out there it's a little chillier this morning Swiped at it. All right, try this big gabbit for today. Let's get that braid wet. I really like throwing this gabbit. I don't know if you can see those notches in the side. Really tuck that hook away. And then that hook, or that mouth shape really, that catamaran shape really spits a ton of water. Not to mention this baby skips like crazy. there again. Oh, there he is. Nice. Just smoke that cavacho. Ooh, only got him with one. Woo! Smash that. There he is. Oh, yeah. Gavacho. Nice, good looking fish. Not too beefy. This big gav is really easy to throw in these tight areas. Just because it's so heavy, you don't even have to put any, you don't have to put any stank on it. You just kind of lob her in. And you get right where you need. Sometimes you get a little jacked up, but this is becoming one of my favorite frogs. Real quick, you guys, let me know in the comments if you guys are throwing this or what's your favorite frog. Um, I've only hooked up a couple times on this, but hopefully we'll get a couple hogs pretty soon. We get a little more action, guys. See how I'm keeping it low, side side arm, and then kind of an upward cast as your friend in here. You are not overhead casting get up under these trees no way and kind of get your kind of swoop it it's kind of like skipping just kind of get a little sidearm upward so you can get some lift under it but you don't want to get it airborne just throw in a little bit of the open water for a second This thing spits a ton of water. I love it. Ooh. 
definitely need to add some more line. Almost spooled myself into my backing. And I didn't even throw very far. I need to get some more braid on here. It looks like I'm throwing open water, but there is a lot of submerged grass out there. I found this spot a little a few weeks ago and started. I like to test things out with a spinner bait, see what's down there. There's a lot of wood and then there's a lot of grass. Alright guys, the fishing kind of slowed up, so I just wanted to take a second and talk about this gear I'm tossing out here. Pair 7.2 medium heavies. Yeah, I know, just calm down. It's not a heavy, I know, or an extra heavy, but we'll get to that. Anyway, we got a Bantam MGL. We're pretty sure it's the HG. Yep, got the HG out here, and then we got a Cronark MGL XG. Favorite reel on the market. That is a new video coming up. Think about that, um, but for right now, Again, 7.2 medium heavies. I'm up under the wood, I'm up under these trees, guys, um, and I don't need I don't need that heavy, and if I had the heavy, it's, it's a lot harder to sling some of these baits those short of distances without trying to put a little more on it and risk, risking the accuracy. So I got the X-Pride with the Big Gabbit. It's a little more of a heavy, in my opinion. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree about that. And then I got, uh, this 7.2 uh, Zodius because it's it's one of it's one of my favorite setups. The Gavacho easiest frog to walk on the market, and it's the best frog on the market in my opinion. That round band hook just delivers more hookups for me, and, and at least with these 7.2 with the, the medium heavies, uh, with a heavy action rod, I'll definitely take a wide gap hook hooks because once you hook up, those fish are pinned. Um, when you rank you know, wrench on them, so just bring those in. But if you're bank fishing a lot and you want to throw the frog more and you have a lot of tree, a lot of overhang cover, a lot of lay down wood, you might have a gear already to do the job. Um, I'm not saying you should throw this big gabbit. It's not going to be the best to, to pin these hooks because these are some pretty stout hooks. But throw a smaller frog, try the Scavacho or try the Kaira. That is a really good smaller frog um, that you guys should be able to throw up under the trees. Um, and just toss it in there. Just work your way around a bit, uh, see what they're doing, see what they're feeling, um, because they should be there. Uh, those fish gotta come up too when the water's rising. They're gonna come up and feed. They're gonna get up on the cover. They feel more comfortable on it. Um, and you just don't, you don't have 30 yards to cast. Sometimes it's only 20 feet you're gonna get in there. And that shorter rod uh, is gonna give you a little more accuracy than one of those seven, six extra heavy pool cues that you're bombing in to the back of the lily pads. If you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, we're going to do more and more videos, all the gear is going to be in the description, straight to Tackle Warehouse so there's no problem. I'm going to see if I can get on a couple more of these, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.